Good evening, guys and gals and fellow gamers. This is Games for Kicks, and thank you for joining me in another episode of Seven Days to Die. Now, this episode, we're trying to make an entrance and exit, a temporary entrance and exit. I'm not sure how I'm actually going to do this. Okay, so the idea is to have something that you can come in from the top at, preferably with a hatch. So I was reading. Seeing Nation's comments and asking me he would be interested to see how I'm going to do this. And you know, my answer was crap. I haven't thought about getting out. I didn't. So, <laughs> what I did think about, though, is um, I'm going to have to make this all a level lower first. And I'll show you now why. So, I f I'm getting a bit of claustrophobia now. So what I want to do is make this a little more, um, one more lower here. Um, yeah, sure. Yeah, we're gonna leave, yeah, we're gonna fill this in. Yeah, we're gonna leave this line here. That's how we're gonna do it, yes. That's okay, that's okay, I can live with that. Okay, now, the idea is that this is approximately the depth of the level of the area I want to have to start working in. So I'll just make it a little bit bigger so that I can go behind that structure. Oh crap, what the hell happened? Oh my god, he glitched. That was balls. Oh, this was balls. You see, this is what happens. This is the one thing I hope they can really iron out. These glitches are not cool at all. Now, what I can't measure now is where my where that hole is here's that hole so I have to get okay I'm gonna have to dig this up yeah good okay oh no 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 I have stone in my hand ah balls hopefully the water didn't Actually, was that the one that the water is supposed to go through anyway? Okay. Okay, you can see that it's getting a good maybe, maybe it was a blessing in disguise that I glitched out. Maybe it was a blessing in disguise. Okay. So the idea is that this hole there was going to be my drainage. And let's see if that works. So let's get some air. And let's go back in. And... This is where the water is supposed to come down now. And it's not. Okay, that is so weird. Because this is... Yeah, you see the water is here, but visually you can't see it. And this is going to be my entrance. But of course... I need to make sure that it's safe, that zombies can't fall down here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm, yeah, I'm probably gonna put on the very bottom. I'm gonna put a. a okay, would you just come on, place it down? It's not placing anything. Nope, no, 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 no. Okay. Okay, let me get, um, let me make this a bit bigger. Okay, and here. Stop! No! No! 
I hate this so much when you press E that you don't have a cancel there, that you have to actually somehow manage to hit escape. Okay, so now these guys are supposed to be covered like this, and I'm gonna take the inside, of course, off. And just make sure the ground is even around, that zombies don't walk into it and then start hitting it. There we go. That is something you probably will continuously have to do. Okay. Now, hatch. Wooden hatch. I want the wooden hatch to be flush. Can it not be flush? Hmm. Okay, I want, is that the highest it can go? I want it to sit here on top. Uh, I suppose that, that will do. So, now if I close this hatch. Where's the hatch? Where's the hatch? Ah, oh, seriously? Hatches don't survive in water? Oh, this is getting more complicated. Okay, so there you go. Yep, that's it. It stopped. Okay. I still have water here, but probably not for long. Yep, there we go. It's gone. Okay, I was going to have one actually level less down here anyway, so... And another one. And yeah, that's it. So I think that should be enough, actually. Now, the only thing is, th this was going to be my in and out. But if a hatch is going to get destroyed, then I'm going to have to have this a constant um, kind of elevator. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build... I leave the middle blocks free and do it kind of murder hole like if you know what I mean. So let me pick up this and this and this. So these guys up there are the actual Yeah, there we go. Okay. Yeah, I have to find a better method. I'm thinking, um, I don't remember if I recall this right, uh, if I've seen it in the other video, um, that maybe I should just start building on top of the surface and create a square on top of the sur surface of the area I would like to have as the roof and then start building underneath. I think that might be actually better. So, uh, that's okay, that's okay, no worries there. Okay, so let's update these. Except for this one here, or whichever. It's the one right above here. Why am I upgrading them? I don't want to upgrade them. Oh, balls. I didn't want to upgrade them. I want them see-through, but I indestructible yeah 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 yeah. i know what i did wrong oh sorry i'm getting my plans mixed up okay 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 i think that wouldn't flood that that shouldn't flood i'm gonna put that here just in case but it should not flood so if i take this one out again It should go straight down, but the graphics are missing. I don't know why the graphics are missing on this. Is it there now? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so sorry, that wasn't intended. There we go. No damage done. Now, what I might actually do... Now this is how, how I, for the moment, will get in and out. It's not the best, it's... Eh, 
meh at best. But what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get loads and loads of these wood frames. I mean lots of them. Which means I'm gonna make probably all these into wood frames. And what I'm gonna do then is I'm gonna map out the area. So basically this is what the area will be. We start here. Actually, if this is our entrance point here, let's make that the center point and make it a little bit higher so we can actually see it as well from the top of the water. Okay? Yes, that will be our <laughs> our point of interest. And we're basically building, because I want to use metal trussing or something underneath, But to do that, I need to be able to build underneath something. So I'm going to map out an area that I start off with, which will be one, two, three, four, five. Five, yeah. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And this whole area, I'm gonna make full of. Um, I don't know if this is exactly what uh, what you did, Z Nation, but um, I remember something along that line. And basically, what that allows you to do now is um, completely dig underneath everything out, and then uh, put directly attached to these wood frames. You can put the metal trussing, and then you can remove the, the wood frames on top. That's basically what it allows you to do. And it also um, gives you an idea of what you're building approximately. Now, seeing that this is our current in and out, what I might actually do is I might do this for the moment. So they get it, that I can get out all the way. Yeah, something like that, we'll see. Anyway, I need more wood and I need metal. So what I'm gonna do is in, probably in the next episode, this episode is more planning on the size of our base underneath. Now, don't worry about it. I'm still gonna connect this. Actually, I have a pretty crazy idea. Um, and if this doesn't work out in Alpha 10, if Alpha 11 comes along too early, don't worry about it. We're going to do the same shit in Alpha 11, so it's going to be even more fun, okay? I want to actually... I really liked this little island there. And I actually want to dig all the way over there. Now, not bedrock digging. Like, go semi-deep. Go, go, go probably about 15 blocks deep, just in case, yeah? But then go all the way across to this hood. Or go from this hood all the way across here. And basically have this here, our top layer, but then I'm gonna dig all the dirt around it out that is basically going straight down. And the, this, well, I have I have grand ideas for this, but um, of course, if this is gonna work out or not is a completely different story. Especially if we don't have enough time. Okay. There we are. Now we're nearly finished building these, putting these blocks down. Do we have enough? I think that I think so. Now it's five in all directions. Oh, I'm short. I'll get this one. Doesn't matter. Yeah, I don't know why I actually took these out. Like it doesn't really. I don't really need that. Okay, so here's the center point. Okay, here's the center point. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's a nice square. Okay, let's get down. Let's pick it up. And let's... There's no water coming in. That is amazing. Why is the water not coming in? The water is here. Oh, it takes a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's what it is. It takes a while after you open it. And you see there's no water here, even though you can't see it. There's no water here. It goes right into the hole. So all we have to do is close it off now because we, we want to make sure that zombies are not getting in. Okay? Now, from this hole, what we're going to do is now, we're going to do the calculation. We're going to go... Okay, let's just put put something here so we know where we start. Okay. I'm not going to use the auger and everything yet. I'm just going to use the hand tools for now. I don't know why I put them down the auger if I just said I'm using hand tools. So we go on one. Okay, so one, two, three, four. Okay, that's dirt, that's good. And this is five. Now, I'll show you exactly what I have planned and then I'm gonna do some off, off camera and come back when the, when it's done. So this is gonna be five, yeah? So this is the last stone we placed, okay? So basically, if we go straight up, let me get some light so it's not too dark. Now, if we go straight up, it's a bit hard to measure, but, um, Let's hope we're not going to hit water. Actually, yeah, exactly. Let's go just be on the safe side. Go a little bit beforehand. So we can see that we hit it. Now here we should hit wood. There you go. You see? This is wood. Okay. Now this is the wood the zombies can still hit. Yeah, there's the, there's the water now on the other side. The zombies can hit this and destroy this. Now, obviously, what I'm gonna do now, and this is why I need more iron, and I need to gonna, in the next episode, I need to go in here and do an iron run. And I have to start building a furnace for down here as well, which I'm probably gonna do now, actually, thinking of it. Um, I want to turn this into pipes. Um, pipe. No, <laughs> not custom recipe pipes. Um, short iron pipes. Thank you. Short iron pipes. And then metal trussing. I th Will I do iron bars or metal trussing? What do you think? Mine bars? Because metal trussing is so common. Everybody uses metal trussing. Iron bars are probably more expensive. How many iron bars do I get out of this? The iron bars. How many iron bars? 72. And how many... Um, Metal trussing. Probably a hell of a lot more. Yeah, double, nearly. <sighs> I think for looks, though, I really would love um, the iron bars. And actually, let me make one metal trussing. Um, or one build. And let me make one build of iron bars. I want to see something. I want to see what their... Um, stats are okay so metal trusting we have a max load of 320 a mass of 20 which means 320 divided by 20 that's 16 and then we have a hardness of 10 okay yeah it has to be iron bars because the hardness is huge huge it's it's much much oh forge rate is 37 wow oh yeah that's a problem that if you do this you get too much back or something like that, or is it if I put it down here? I don't know. I don't remember. Something like that. But yeah, I use that in the furnace and break it back down. That is really, really... Wow. Okay, so I think we're gonna go with iron bars simply because they have a higher hardness, which makes them more... Uh, hardness, basically, I think you d multiply hardness by 0 0.075 or divide it by 0 0.075 and whatever the result is, is the average amount of hits a zombie has to hit it before it breaks down. And seeing that the hardness is higher than metal trussing, I think I will go with the iron bars. 
So, there we go. Now, and the iron bars also have less of a flickering look. So what I'm going to do here is... There you go. That will be my my look. But what, what the good thing is now, I can take off the wood frames on top of it now. And I can dig now all the way along here. So let me just dig all the way across to the center. And I'm, I, I'm so used to holding the E button down, okay? But you see that? Do not hold the E button down continuously, what you probably used to as well, because you will pick up the wood and then you're screwed. <laughs> so um, let me go here and again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. And we need to make sure we leave the middle one free. So the middle one has to stay and be left alone. That's the middle one. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Excellent. There you go. That is very good. And now what I can do is with the rest, I will do the rest like that as well. And then I will take the wood frames off and it should look really, really awesome. Well, I think. Okay, so I'm going to cut this and show you then what it looks like in the end. Okay, so I see you guys in a little bit. Okay, so it looks like I'm not gonna get this finished because um, I had to go out to get um, one of the guys was actually saying Oh, could you make the inside concrete and I was thinking at first no, I don't need this But I want actually some stability. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make the actual limit concrete, so what I did is I went out to my little original hole and uh, went to get the lead or the clay some other stuff just in case the flowers, I don't know why I took that. I was kind of panicking because I had to hurry up. It was already quarter past eight when I left here. And um, I had to make sure I get back. So, and it's only short swim really, but um, still. So what I did is I put a cement mold here, made it from the clay. And there was about 30 clay in there. And that is good. I take that and I'm gonna, I have here, I have metal burning. Then what I do is I, I took out the last block here. Now I have to hit this 25 times to take this out because I don't want the last block to be this. I want to actually build a wall down here and um, I show you this now. So actually I, I probably should have more light. I always forget how dark this will look for you guys. Oh, who's hitting something way again? No, nobody's hitting anything. Now, there was one guy hitting something over there, but I killed him, so that was okay. Alright, so let's put um, just some candle. Ugh, don't put the can Okay, put them on the floor. Okay, just put them on the floor somewhere. There we go. Okay, we have a bit of light now. That should be enough. Okay, that's a hidden one again. There you go. Now we have enough light to uh, see what we're doing. Now, I show you now what I have planned. So if I take half of those and, yeah, and make some gravel. I can also make gravel out of um, other things, but we get them later. 
So, because stones is not the best, but stones is all I have in the moment, so I can't really complain. So you need a few more. There you go. Okay, so now if I take the gravel and the cement the other way around, I get this, but I don't want to use concrete mix. I want to use just... Um, yeah, I will use concrete. It's just because it's easier to make right now, because I have all the resources. And the idea is then to do this. So... Okay, let's take this away and this away. Yeah. There we go. Nice. And I do the same with this here, so... Instead of... I already took this one out, so let's do this next. And this one. There you go. And there we go. Excellent. And like I said, I have to hit this 25 times, so um, uh, uh, apologies about this. But you, you get the idea of what I'm trying to do here. Okay, so I want to... I know the water should theoretically hold it in its magic water or whatnot. But I don't want an accident to happen where one of those things get destroyed. There we go now. Come on. There's two more. There we go. And we take this one. Now, this is gonna be a bit tricky. It's... Which one is the corner one now? one is the corner one so I take this one out and then I have I think one more so let me just check that out I think there is one more to go yes okay so this is the corner there you go and this will be going all the way down, so I'm going to have to move my bed. Come on. There you go. Okay. And behind it, I will just fill it up with the dirt again that we had. Because it's no point, like, putting rocks, stone there that we need. So we'll just kind of fill it up again with the dirt that we had. Originally from there. This is the wall, this is what we have to refill. There you go. Excellent. Beautiful. And then we're just gonna fill this up. Now we can also put now finally lights then properly on the walls, on each of the four corners, so we don't have to have all the lights here. There we go. That's it. And here. Oh, no. Here. Okay, so now you see what I want to do. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of that uh, continuously. Uh, I'm going to continue that actually um, in the next episode, probably by the end of the next episode, because the first thing I want to do is I want to empty all my inventory. I want to go over to the wastelands and. Oh, I want to place my bed though, just in case. <laughs> So let me build, put my bed somewhere away from the water hole. Um, yeah. Yeah, let me put it here for now. That, that's a good spot. And I will empty my inventory and then uh, get ready to go into the wasteland. I'm going to leave all that stuff here. Um, I need gas. I will bring the bandages. I will bring splints. I will leave everything else probably here. I don't need the claw hammer. Well, I bring it just in case. I have to barricade myself in, though I don't know why I would need to. I leave. I will bring this. I will bring this just as a backup. I leave the stones here. I leave the lumps of clay here. And all that jazz. Now this is gonna get burnt. 
in here. I'm actually gonna take these guys with me because you can never have enough wood frames or wood just in case you come across some interesting things. And I will leave the candles here and let me see. I take the coffee with me and leave the dirt here and the metal pipes. Actually, I take the gravel with me as well because I will be picking up more gravel and I will stack them. And I will take not this. I will actually take a little bit of food with me and a little bit of drink just in case. And I think that's it. So this is me prepared for the next episode where I'm going to go and I'm not going to go on a loot loot run. I'm only going to look for specific things like gas, anything to do with metal, gravel, anything like that. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, if you did, please strike that like button like the gaming ninjas you are. Um, I hope you like the idea where I'm going with this. Um, this will look pretty bad as actually once you have the, the wood taken away. But it just took a little bit longer because I wanted to get cement and I wanted to build the concrete walls as well. So um, apologies uh, for that. But we definitely need more stone, which we have plenty of here. So there's no shortage. We can always dig a little deeper. And until next time, this is Games for Cakes. And feel spaß and happy gaming.